Welcome, I'm from the Samsung Galaxy A21s and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the device to an SD card and the vice versa. So to get started we'll need to open up the files app which in here it's located in the Samsung folder, so my files. And once you open it up you will see the two different storages, so I'm gonna start with the internal storage which is the one that I had the device storage. And from here you can see that there's a bunch of folders. Now, really quickly, the DCIM folder will contain photos, videos captured with the device, downloads folder will contain any that you have downloaded uh, anywhere on your device. Uh, then movies, music, notifications, podcasts, uh, ringtones, uh, and stuff like that are usually folders that are empty, um, unless you have placed there something yourself or you have some kind of app specifically that, that just saves something in there. But apart from that, it should be primarily empty. And there's also WhatsApp app, that's because uh, there is WhatsApp. And in here you'll find um, just whatever WhatsApp saves, like the images that it has, it's gonna be in its own folder. And apart from that, the last thing left is the pictures folder, which normally contains screenshots that you have captured on the device. So once we know where we can start looking for our stuff, I'm gonna go to the DCIM, that's where my uh, folder files are, looks like or not. I've captured a couple of photos but it looks like it saved them to the SD card. And there they are. So once you find your files, uh, what you want to do is select them and you select them by either holding it, or well, you always hold it to select it, and you can tap on additional ones to select more. Um, now there's also a way to select all of them really quickly, so if you have an entire folder full of photos, you can tap on the, um, and there we go, uh, all as you can see, just tap on it and it selects every file in that directory, so for me, every uh, every photo in the camera folder. So this is one way you could select it if you want all of them. The other way uh, would be just to select the entire folder itself, so you don't have to create a new one. And whichever way you do it, it's completely up to your preference. Now when it's selected, we have the two options. So we have now move or copy as an option. And again, this is completely up to your preference, which one you choose. Uh, the copy option will create additional set of the same files, so uh, the ones that are right now here will stay here and new ones will be created in a new location, while move will completely remove those photos from where they are right now and move them to a new location. So choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with move. And from there, as you can see, we have the option to move here. But what you wanna do is now back out. So you wanna back into the location where you want to move those files. So the originator right now from the SD card, so just to change it up, I'm gonna go to the internal storage and drop it. Oh, let's drop it right here. So, and tap on move here, and as you can see, there is a new folder, uh, camera, along with the three uh, photos that were in there. And this process works the same way for any kind of file, folder, um, documents, whatever you want to move, it works the exact same way for everything. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.